Hello champions, welcome back. Today we're doing a, the second part in this mini-series about pursuing a goal and helping to shape some of your life to better pursue this goal of yours, whatever it is that you picked that you were talking about, that you were thinking about uh, during the first mini vi uh, first episode. And I thought I'd show you a little example of possible um so you can have something like this this is sort of a in work in progress example of what it might the first video some of the notes for the first video might be some of the things that someone might have if they wanted to be a full-time author illustrator content creator kind of thing might be reversed on the camera but it's uh just sort of the things that they're looking for, that you might see as checkpoints in that case it was things like let me pull it back up um publishing books youtube uh networking instagram facebook uh conventions there'd be sales uh so on and so forth and then whatever those um so this has in-person and online networking, and then there could you could branch that out as to what the particular sort of checkpoints that are of interest to yourself. On to today's topic, which is the what, where is time and money going in your life, right? So when you're trying to pursue a goal, it's important to know where time and money is going in your life because time and money are directly related. They're directly inter-impacting uh, a lot of people say time is money time can create money time is the ultimate resource it is the one resource you cannot get back it is the ultimate currency is time uh, it is the currency that once it's spent it's gone so time is the ultimate currency that is the highest valued currency you have is time and money is a secondary currency on that so Figuring out where your time and money are going and where they can go is sort of the um, where they are going is the most important thing today. Creating a two column chart like this, super helpful. And then bulleting, where's your time going? Work, uh, kids, commuting, grocery shopping, paying bills, exercising, watching TV, playing video games, watching movies, going, you know, going out shopping, going out to eat, etc. for time, money, bills, gas, utilities, rent, mortgage, car, or uh, subscription services, medications and these are important to note and don't think too hard about any of the importance of any of these things yet okay the importance right now is not important just that they are there and you are having to spend time on them or money on them all right the importance and whether or not it's changeable does not matter right now sleep is another time thing um and just figuring out how much time is being spent on those things. How much money is being spent on those things. That's important to know. And how much spare time you have. That's an important value. Spare time. Spare money. Um, is important to know if you have any. Not ever, Most people don't these days. So it's good to know if you do. Where, how much do you have um, for those so creating this is the project for this week with all of those little bullet points and including any spares you might have if you're so blessed to have any. And that's it for today. This short, These short little mini videos on this mini series about sculpting yourself to achieve your goals, sculpting your life to achieve a goal. I'll see you on Monday with the next third video in the series where we'll talk about a little bit more on 
sort of we'll start working on figuring out some places where change can start to be, begin in our lives and start looking at some of that and that will be we'll be moving forward so until then and even not otherwise you are loved and if no one's told you it recently i love you your life has worth i'm glad you're alive you have dignity you have value and you make a difference I'll see you next time.